Hi, and welcome to another episode of Tales from the JS. This is your host, Edward Roccatello, and today I'm gonna show you how to create an ancient map in QGIS. We will create a map like the one you are seeing here on the screen. Uh, we will use just QGIS and a few image files. Okay, we can start. This is the project. And um, you will need a few things to do uh, an ancient map in QGIS. To obtain a map like this, you will need to have a contour of the zone you are mapping, and then a DTM, and a few roads, and the main cities or interesting points. We will set up the whole thing like that. And then we will add some bell and whistles using the layout, adding a background and adding a cartouche here. And that's a really nice map doing like that. Okay, so let's start with the contour. Uh, we do everything using styling. So double click the the, the layer uh, you are working on and just fill it with a nice color I used uh, this one and reduce the opacity to 80% you will get a nice blend you doing that okay the next thing to do is to add a few mountains so download the DTM, double click it and work with the transparency to have a nice blend. But before doing that, you may tweak something here. Set the render type to hill shade because when you open a raster in QJS, you get the band, uh, the gray band. So it's not really nice to see, but put hill shade on it. And then uh, enlarge the Z factor, put it to 6, 8, 10 in a um, few cases. And you need to see the map while doing it, this, because if you change settings, you will get the, the map, uh, a different map, like this one. I've changed the as a mode and the uh, lighting has changed and another thing you have to do is to colorize the whole map using a color it may be an affine color to the the other one you used and try some try to do some tests to find the, the right color Okay, once you have done this, you need to uh, add a few roads and just add a few roads, the main ones, and then uh, add a line and tweak a few things, the color, the opacity, the turn it down to 30, and then you can tweak the stroke width, the offset, and so on and uh, you may want to change the cap style and uh, this will uh, reduce the errors here they are not actually errors because uh, if you see there is, there is a variation on color here and it's due to roundabouts so you may want to remove that and, but if you this is just an example, so uh, take it like uh, it really is. Um, the last thing to do is to add a few places. I have a filter set on the OSM places here. Add a marker 
uh, I use the triangle but you can change uh, the, the style if you want if you want uh, to have um, a nice uh, pentagon you can do it and you can have it or you can want a square uh, and you can change a few, a few change a few things uh, in order to obtain the result you want. The next thing to do is to add a label. You will add a label on um, an attribute of your points, and we are using name here. And uh, the font I'm using is the Monotype Corsiva. It's uh, it's about twelve in size with points the color is the same of the the marker and we ha we added a mask to avoid uh, clashing and and not uh, anything everything is just with the default values so click ok and this is our map okay now the, the thing uh, you have to do is to create a new uh, layout print layout and you need to add uh, just a few things a picture which is the uh, the cartridge and may, it may say whatever you want I picked the one from the internet it's in French I didn't edit uh, it and Oh, sorry. You need to change the pla the the placement if you need, and the interesting thing is in the rendering section here. Uh, change the blending mode to multiply and tweak the opacity. The multiply is due to the uh, style of the image I have. I've ch uh, I've chosen because it's um, black and white um, black and white and uh, multiply makes white uh, disappear okay the other thing to do is to drag the map and the map uh, um, you will need to set the scale and nothing more you can tweak the, um, the scale and the extent here in the extent tab and uh, once again, we will use the rendering to uh, improve the visualization. Uh, choose dark and as blending mode, or you can use whatever you want, whatever you like, and then tweak the opacity. Okay, this is okay. After we have done all of this, we need to move a bit our map uh, to allow us to click on the the page and the page will have a site an orientation but also a background so click background select a background image like this one per camina and just set as a raster image field and then uh, it's a bit tricky to get the right dimension so use millimeters if you want and then you can turn down the opacity and everything you you want is on the map so we have a nice image of um, the uh, an ancient map ancient like map so you may want to export this as image select jpeg and click uh, let me save it as ancient 2 uh, you will get a few things asked click save and after a few you will get the the map so let's wait a little bit this is the reference we didn't change anything actually uh, you will only see that the DTM is a bit different okay here it is as you can see the the lighting is 
a bit different, but not really so so much. Okay, this is how to create an ancient map in QJS. It's just a walkthrough of what I have done here because it's a quite a time-consuming process. But I want, I'm willing to see what you will do using this tutorial. Uh, so show me your maps in the comments. Click like and remember to subscribe to this channel to never miss an update. Thank you for listening.